Good day, pupils. How are you today? We'll start our English lesson. Please take your books and your copy books and write down today's date. Please go to page number 35. Today's our new theme is about study skills. Let's start with the vocabulary. Please listen and repeat the new words. Cough. Cough. Нашхтал. Ою. Ою в жазу. Гравировать. Chat. Chat. Ангмилису. Суилису. Болтать. Cone. Cone. Конус. Мюс. Конус. Рожок. Cozy. Cozy. Жайла. Уютный. Courtyard. Courtyard. Aula. Двор. Disease. Disease. Auru. Болезнь. Fairy. Fairy. Перезад. Пира. Фея. Chimney. Chimney. Тутен муржаса. Дымоход. Fairy tale. Fairy tale. Ертега. Сказка. Mosquito. Mosquito. Маса. Камаль. Nature. Nature. Табират. Природа. Nightfall. Nightfall. Амарт. Энер. Ахшан. Алакуленьке. Сумерки. Notch. Notch. Жапсарма. Шокта. Метка. Засечка. Thatched roof. Thatched roof. Сабан шатыра. Соломенная крыша. Treetop. Treetop. Агаштанг жугарга жага. Вершина дерева. Upside down. Upside down. Жугары жане тумен. Вверх вниз. Please write down these new words on your copy books with their translations. And let's do the first task. Task 1. Exercise 4. In this exercise, you have to write as many words as you can think of related of to homes under each of the headings below. You have to write about the materials, type, special features, adjectives, applicants, furniture, and the rooms. Бірінші тапсырма, төртінші жаттығу. Бұл жаттығуда үйге қатысты барлық сөздерді жазып шығыңыздар. Первое задание. Упражнение четвертое. В этом упражнении вы должны написать слова которые относятся к слову дом. Second task, exercise 5, listening exercise. In this exercise, you have to listen to the three teens talking about their homes. Who lives in? Бесінші жаттығу, бұл жаттығу, тыңдалым жаттығуы. Тыңдалымда, үш жасы өспірім жайлы тыңдайсыздар. Және олардың үйлері жайлы. Қай үй кімнің? Қай үй кімге тиесілі екенін жазыңыздар. Пятое упражнение. Слушание. В этом упражнении вы должны послушать аудио и определить, какой дом кому принадлежит. Listen to the audio. My name is Karen. I'm 14 years old and I live with my parents and my sister in a lovely little house in the countryside. Our stone cottage is very old but it is cosy, with a big fireplace in the living room. The house only has two bedrooms. I don't mind sharing a room with my sister because we get on very well. Our garden is very pretty too. It has cherry trees and lots of lovely roses. Hi. I'm Simon and I'm 15 years old. Last year, me and my parents moved out of our flat and now we live on the River Thames in a houseboat. It's a little cramped, but I still prefer it to our old flat. It's got two small bedrooms and a large living area with a kitchen. In the summer, it's nice to sit on the deck and watch all the river traffic. Hello, my name is Peter. I'm 15 years old and I live in a large building in the city. 
I live there with my parents and my sister. Our home is quite big, so I'm lucky enough to have my own room. We've got three bedrooms, a spacious living room, a kitchen dining room, and a balcony full of plants and flowers. I like living here because we are on the top floor and we have a wonderful view of the city. And the next task is exercise 6. In this exercise, you have to choose the correct particle. Of radial verbs. Altınşı jattığı, bu jattığı da frazalıq yetistiklerden dırıs sözün belgileyip şağınızdır. Uprajnini şestuya. В этом uprajnini. Выберите подходящее слово фразового глагола. And this exercise for your home task. Exercise 7. In this exercise, choose the correct preposition. Ижимысы 7-ши жаттығу. Дырыс предлогты табыңыз. Домашнее задание. Упражнение 7 -е. Выберите подходящий предлог. Good luck to everyone.